Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix the error message which says fail to initialize a direct text to well. Now, there might be an instance where you're working on your computer and you might come across the error message uh, from the direct text stating that fail to initialize direct text to well or graphic drivers may require an update or graphic adapters may not be supported. Now, there are a couple of fix you can try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first method is to go ahead and update your graphic driver. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on the device manager in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen once you have the device manager open on your computer you will have to go ahead and look for the display adapters so expand display adapters now most of the instances um, in case if you don't have a graphic driver installed you wouldn't see these two listed here just in case um, if you see an additional display adapters you will have to go ahead and update those uh, both the display adapters how do you do it you can do a right click on the one of the adapters to begin with and then click on update driver and then choose the option which says search automatically for the drivers and then click on search for the update drivers updated drivers on the windows update so what this will do is this will go ahead and check if there are any updates available for the display adapters via windows update now once this is done check if there are any updates available in case if there are any possible updates available for your graphic drivers go ahead and install those updates once the installation is done, you may go ahead and restart your computer and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't have to try the next step. The next step of what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to go ahead and uninstall the graphic driver and reinstall it. To do this, uh, you will have to open device manager by doing a right click on the start button and then click on device manager in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen and now uh, you will have to look for display adapters do a right click and then click on uninstall device now what this will do is this will go ahead and uninstall the display adapter drivers for your computer once this is done you can do a right click on the display driver and then click on scan for changes so with this what it will do is it will go ahead and reinstall the default graphic driver adapters for your computer once this is done you may go ahead and restart your computer and check if your issue has been resolved in case if your issue has been resolved well and good you don't have to worry about the next step now the next step what you need to do is you need to go ahead and install the direct text to well now to begin with the first thing what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and check what version of direct x is being installed on the computer now to check this uh, you can do a right click on the start button and then click on run in the run window you may go ahead and type dx diag this is for the direct x diagnostic tool so you will see a direct x diagnostic tool open on your computer once you have this tool open under the system tab you will have to go ahead and look for the direct X version and make sure you have the direct x12 or in case if you have the latest version you will have to make sure that you have the current version of the direct x installed on the computer here you have identified uh, what version of direct x it is in case if you have direct x12 you don't need to take any uh, action in case if you don't have direct x12 what you will have to do is you will have to open the browser and go to the link i will mention this link in the uh, video description so all you have to do is you will have to open the browser once you have the browser open you will have to go ahead and type the address for downloading DirectX 12 from the Microsoft website hit enter this will take you to the DirectX version and now here you will have to go ahead and install this version so it's quite easy step to install this you will have to choose the language preferred language and then click on download this will go ahead and download the setup and once the download is complete, you can double click on the executable file and follow the step by step instruction what you see on the screen. Now, once the setup is complete, once the DirectX 12 has been installed, all you need to do is you will have to restart the computer. Once you restart the computer, you will have to go ahead and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't have to try the next step. Now, the next step, what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and install, download and install Visual c plus plus redistributable for visual studio 2015 now this is one of the components which is also required to make sure the direct x runs smoothly on the computer now to download and install the latest version of direct visual c studio plus plus you will you can copy the link from the video description open the browser and hit enter 
as you see on the screen it will take you to the microsoft website to download the visual c choose the preferred language and then click on download and under this section make sure you choose the first option which says vc red is 64 bit and click on download once the download is complete all you need to do is you'll have to click on the executable file and follow the step by step instruction on the screen once the installation is complete for visual c you will have to go ahead and restart your computer and you should not be seeing any error message now in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem the next step what you can do is you can go ahead and disable the hardware acceleration to uh, solve the problem now to disable the hardware acceleration you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on the settings page you will have to go ahead and click on system once you're on the system you will have to click on display under the display you will have to scroll down and look for graphics under graphics you will see an option which says change default graphics settings click on it and now to disable hardware acceleration make sure these optimization for windows games has been turned on and uh, once this has been set and it has been marked as off you may go ahead and close this window restart your computer and check if your issue has been resolved in case if your issue has been resolved well and good you don't have to try the next step now in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with the possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day